a sad day for Chevrolet. It's hard to believe that in a, in a country like the United States, they can't develop a suitable racing car that can challenge the Europeans. There are little flashes of brilliance, but there really has not been a steady competitor for any of the Europeans. Now we have uh, Nissan joining the fray with, with the Porsche, and of course the Mercedes is lurking in the background there too. And what international flavor we have this year. Imagine this, a Dutchman leading, then in second an Australian, a British driver maintaining third, an Argentinian in fourth, and a U.S. driver fifth out here, which really speaks to called it world championship. You may say it's Group C. I'd say it's as good as it gets right here. Cars, but in this new generation and of look at prototype this. machines. Here we have the Nissan just about to lap these cars. This is fifth place being lapped. And there is the new generation right there, the number 83. Kaz Kastner and company Maine has their story. John Morton with the clipboard and Jeff Brabham drive the fastest car in Camel GT. The Nissan with its computer-managed V6 turbo. Technology is the key to its speed. I think the team has got more highly uh, developed technology than the, than the rest of the teams. I think uh, we're in El Segundo, California, and that's the heart of the American aerospace industry, and the car, I think, in a strange way, is a reflection of that. Breeze right now here at Palm Beach, Florida. Well, this is really shocking. Look at the lead that he's able to pull out after only a lap and a half. Just phenomenal. He's running away from everyone. At Road Atlanta, they fell behind twice. They had a fire in the pits, and they came back and won the race. That is amazing. Look Memphis at the distance. Pounds. Your leader, the Nissan, out in front, drawing to four, four and a half, five second advantage. More than that now, big advantage. Just pulling away. He just looks so effortless doing this, too. The Jaguar is working very, very hard at this point. Davey's trying to throw the car and pitch it. The Nissan is on rails. Just not a slide, nothing getting out of line. Well, this is going to be an incredible story if Nissan can win two back-to-back -back here oh. this season. Really impressive for Mr. Kastner and his people. But all day long, we've watched uh, LaRari and the Porsche getting sideways under braking. We've watched the Jaguar darting back and forth under braking and accelerating sideways out of corners. This Nissan has not done a thing. It just looks so effortless that the development on this car is tremendous. Wow, turn six, seven. That's turn eight. Here he is coming to turn nine. Waiting moments of the event. This exits very gently out of that. One more corner to go around. Down to the finish, car number 83. Coming out, checkered, unfurled, and give the win to John Morton of California and Jeff Brabham, victorious twice in succession for Team Nissan. A great victory here at Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, they haven't seen anything yet. Thanks, Cass. What he's doing is timing both his car and the Jaguar, the entire Nissan crew, keeping a close watch on that gap between first and second. Oh, my heart, you ain't seen nothing yet, says Cass <laughs> Kastner. Yeah, if this is only the beginning, it, it makes you shudder.